Well, this is where it all begins. As you can see, I'm currently sitting at my desktop. Let's launch the AutoCAD 2010 application by double-clicking on this icon. And when the program comes up, the first thing we see is the initial setup dialog box. This is where AutoCAD is going to ask us some questions, try and find out what we do for a living, and then it will use that information to customize the content and tools that we see on our screen. So at this point, we could move up and down the list and choose a discipline that best matches what we do. In the big scheme of things, by making a choice here, we're not really doing anything permanent. All we're doing is building a custom startup workspace. For the purposes of this title, I'm going to select Other, General Design and Documentation, and I'll click Next. Now on page two, I can look at these four topics and determine if any of these interest me. If they do, I can put a check in the box and I can have the tools show up in my new workspace. Once again, this is nothing permanent. If I leave the checks out of the boxes, I can always add these tools later manually. I'm going to leave these unchecked and we'll click Next. Finally, I can specify a drawing template file. Currently, AutoCAD is going to use the default drawing template. If we were using this in an office environment and we had an office template, we could select that right here. Or if I wasn't sure what to use, I could check this box and I could specify my template based on the type of work I'm doing, whether it's imperial or metric. For this title, I'm going to go with the default and then I'll click Finish. Now, based on the answers that I gave to those questions, AutoCAD has customized the tools and palettes that I see on my screen. If we look right down here, we can see the name of the workspace that we created. It's the initial setup workspace. Now, I am unsure at this point if this is the first time you've launched your AutoCAD 2010. Maybe you answered your questions differently than I did. Maybe you see different tools on your screen than I do. I think it's important that we all start from the same interface. So what I'd like you to do is come down and click this flyout, and I'd like you to select 2D Drafting and Annotation. You can always come back to your initial workspace later if you wish, but for right now, if we're both working with the 2D Drafting workspace, we can be sure that the tools that you see on my screen will match the tools on your screen. Now that we've made that adjustment, it's time to jump to the next video and get started.